everybody, this is Ted Forbes from The Art of Photography, and I want to do a vlog edition today. Uh, talk about some things that are coming up, and I have an email I want to share with you guys today that uh, pleasantly surprised me. I was very humbled to get the other day. And if you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, we did a show on a gentleman named Wynn Bullock. And Wynn is, I think, an unfortunately rather obscure photographer who should be better known. He was way ahead of his time. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it below, and all the links I talk about today, I will link in the show notes. Uh, anyway, I was uh, got up the other day, I was starting my day, and uh, if you haven't seen the Wind Bullock episode, this will make more sense. But uh, uh, anyway, I was checking my email and there's an email that says your recent video about my father on it. And I kind of took note and I did get permission from Barbara to share this. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool and I want to share it with you guys. And she writes, Dear Ted, this is a message of appreciation for your recent podcast about my father, Wind Bullock. And at this point, like chills are up my spine. I'm like, whoa, greatness. Um, I enjoyed viewing it very much and was delighted to discover that you had done some careful research on his life and work. There's one major mystery, however, <clears throat> getting hot in here, um, that I hope you'll be able to shed some light on. The first, uh, the first color light abstraction image you use in your set of thumbnails is one I've never seen before, double sweat. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that it, this one isn't dad's, but on the other hand, it could mean that. Um, I would like to know where you found it, what kind of attribution came with it. Of course, it would be exciting for me to learn about a new image of dad's if, in fact, this really is a Win Bullock color light abstraction. In that case, I would love to arrange to get a high-res scan of it. Um, as I said in my comment on your Facebook page, our family has been working diligently to reintroduce Dad's color abstract light imagery to a wider audience. In 2010, we premiered a traveling show of 44 CLAs, that's color light abstract, CLAs here in Carmel at the Center for Photographic, Photographic Arts. In conjunction with that exhibition, we published a hardcover catalog of the work, and she gives a link, I'll put it below, uh, third on my list. Um, you may already be familiar with it. Since then, the show has been exhibited at four additional venues and is scheduled for a fifth presentation this fall at UC Santa Cruz. Last year, Dad's CLA work was represented in a retrospective show at De Sayest Museum at the campus of Santa Clara University and is currently included in both the landmark exhibition and book project sponsored by the High Museum of Art in Atlanta. If you scroll down to the page of information, you'll be able to click on a link of a slideshow exploring dozens of dad's CLAs. In exploring your own art of photography website, I discovered that you live and work in Dallas. The High exhibition will be on display until January 18th, 2015. If you get a chance to go to Atlanta, I would strongly encourage you to visit the show. Brett Abbott has done a magnificent job curating it, and it truly is the most comprehensive, meaningful presentation of Dad's creative journey that I've ever seen, and the catalog and its match in quality and insight. The show is intended to travel to additional institutions with Brett is currently and Brett is currently working on lining up venues. As a lover of Bullock photography, you might be interested in subscribing to our periodic e-newsletter. We send out about three to five issues a year and we don't share a mailing list with anyone. Here's a link and I'll put that below too if you want to subscribe. And speaking of our newsletters, I'd like to ask your permission to post a link to your podcast in an upcoming issue as well as on our website. We would love it for followers to have the opportunity to enjoy it. I've already shared it on our Win Bullock Facebook page where it is being appreciated and shared further. In closing, I want to thank you for helping us spread the word about the Bullock photography. I, uh, I love connecting with fans like you who deeply appreciate Dad's creative journey, and I believe that the legacy left to us is soul-stirring, life-affirming, not only for lovers of photography, but also everyone else who seeks to live a more aware, appreciative, and meaningful life. All the best, Barbara. Barbara Bullock Wilson, managing member of Bullock Family, LLC. Um, I was extremely flattered and humbled and sweated a little bit when I got this email, and um, I immediately went back, and this is one of the nice things about using Pinterest for these shows, I went back and I checked the source on it, and it was my mistake. It was not um, a Win Bullock image. It was on a blog that featured some Win Bullock images, but was, alas, not a Win uh, Bullock image. And she did clarify later that she believes that that image, and I'm, I put that on the screen, I'll put it up again, is by a photographer named Andy Ilichinsky. And I'm not familiar with Andy, and I will have to go look him up now um, if he's doing color light abstracts uh, via Win Bullock, and his daughter knows who he is. Um, he's probably somebody worth checking out. So that is very interesting. Anyway, I emailed Barbara back. We clarified that. I did say that I wanted to use her email and talk about that in a, a vlog edition here. And I wanted to clarify also that I did make an error on that. And I'm not perfect and I do goof things up because I get excited and I go forward full steam and sometimes um, I get a little sloppy. And that happened. So anyway, I apologize. But that does not make Win Bullock's color light abstracts or other work any less amazing and stunning. And so anyway, go check that out. Go watch the episode if you haven't seen it yet. And I wanted to share the email from Barbara with you today. Um, 
Also, if you are in Atlanta, and several people have uh, emailed me to suggest this too, and so thanks for everybody who brought this to my attention. The High Museum in Atlanta, as I just mentioned in the email, is doing a show right now on Wynn Bullock's work, and if you're in Atlanta, you need to go see this. Um, I don't know what my travel schedule is going to be like before January of next year. Um, I would love to make it to Atlanta to go do that, and if there's any way I could do it, um, funding is going to be a little bit of an issue. But just because I quit my job to do a podcast. Um, but anyway, uh, if I can find a way to fund this, I would love to go out there and do an art of photography meetup and maybe we could coordinate with Barbara to do something out there. I did ask her too if she would be interested in doing something for the show. And what I was thinking of is probably a way for me to do an interview with her. So perhaps this will all work out. Um, I don't like to talk about things before they've happened a lot because then when they don't happen, people are like, what happened to such and such? But this could happen and it, Either way, if this doesn't happen, you need to go see the show. It, it is amazing. So if anybody has any ideas of how we could fund something like that, that would be brilliant. Um, anyway, so uh, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I have some other emails, and I'm going to wait and do separate videos on them. I did get another email from a, uh, a collector who um, collects Fred Herzog's work and connected me with a gallery out there, and they had a lot of stories to talk about, further explaining some of the things we did on the Fred Herzog episode, um, you know, the early colorist. And so we'll share that another time. And then also this Sunday, um, I've got a video that I just finished up today. And we're going to do a little bit of a photo lit once again. And in two days, you will see my video on Dorothea Lang, which I'm really excited about. And just so you'll know, there's a PBS documentary that's been made on Dorothea Lang that airs in two weeks. Well, I got a lot of information today, don't I? Um, so in two weeks, you can watch that. I will put links and spell all this out below if it's confusing and weird because I know I just set up the camera and roll on these vlogs. But anyway, hopefully it's insightful. I will see you guys in two days with the Dorothea Lang episode. And thanks again for watching. Once again, this has been The Art of Photography. My name is Ted Forbes. Later.